Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, today, we're up here by Elvord, Rock Rapids, Iowa, and Lyon County, and uh, we're meeting with Dave and Cheryl Holstein. And uh, Zomer Company is going to do an auction for them on November 16, uh, 2024, at 10.30 a.m. out at the farm. And uh, Dave and Cheryl, you've been wonderful people to work with. We appreciate working with you guys. And uh, they have an outstanding line of equipment. And uh, Dave, how long have you been farming on the farm here? I've been farming here for 46 years. 46 years. I lived on this place for 65 years. How can that be? I thought you were only 39, Dave. <laughs> yeah. No, I was born and raised on this place, so yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've been here most of my life, so. That is pretty neat, folks. So you hear that? He's lived here and farmed for 46 years and lived here for 65 years. And uh, Cheryl, how about you? How long have you lived here? How many years have you been married? 46. 46. So Cheryl, do you have a family picture with you? I do. Let's take a look at that once. Uh, come on over here, cameraman. Let's take a look at this. So tell me about your family here, Cheryl. Point out your uh, kids and grandkids here. So, so we have three children. It's Nathan and Heidi and Molly and then their spouses. This would be Robin and Glenn and Matt. Wow. And how many grandkids and do you have? There's seven grandchildren. Seven grandkids. And I bet they love to gra come to Grandpa and Grandma's they place. They love it. They all had to have a ride with, in the combine with Grandpa for their last time. Oh, uh, yeah. Wonderful. Pretty emotional day, too. Yes, 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 yes. What a great family. What a nice farm uh, family legacy story. That's pretty neat. So, uh, Dave and Cheryl, um, you've been farming, and you've had cattle here on the place. You've had hogs on the place, and you did row crop farming. And uh, you're uh, selling it to another young farmer in the neighborhood. And you guys are retiring and building a new home up by Rock Rapids. Right. So, um, tell me, Dave and, and Cheryl, about one great farm family memory you guys have out on the farm. And you probably got hundreds of them, but <laughs> you, guys, you guys share one with me, if you would. Well... I have a bad one is when I was loading hogs and got a ride on a hog. That's my problem. <laughs> Dave made you help load hogs? Yes. <laughs> and then, yeah, there was a time when I used to have stock cows. Yeah. 12 o'clock at night. I was trying to pull a calf. She was sitting on the cow's stomach trying to push it down, and I was trying to pull the calf. It was just funny. <laughs> But we saved the calf. We got her out. <laughs> hey, that's so, awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. We're good stories. Good stories. Cool. Yeah. So, Dave, tell me, uh, we're standing here by your 275 Magnum tractor, and uh, tell me a little bit of history on this tractor. Uh, I'm the second owner on this tractor. I, I think I had it for about 11 years. Uh, it's got uh, new tires on the back just this spring, new tires up front in 2022. Just take a look at this tractor, folks. And it's got all the steer. Uh, yeah. How many hours in this tractor, Dave, approximately? It's about 2,800. Boy, just look at the condition of this tractor, folks. Just take a look at the, uh, the care this tractor's had. And I'll tell you a little bit more about Dave's uh, maintenance and care here pretty soon in this video. But, uh, folks, it's unbelievable when you see the care they have. Cheryl, I have to tell you, the first time we were here, did I understand correctly that every spring you take everything out of the shed or every, every fall you take <laughs> everything completely out of the machine shed and you power wash the whole machine shed? Is that yep. that's correct? That was a rule that we had to do. That was a rule they do. So <laughs> you can see we're in his nice heated shop here that him and Cheryl have. And, uh, yeah, just talk about a straight 275 Magnum. Um, anything else you'd like to say about the tractor, Dave? I will miss it. It was a great tractor. Yes, and uh, clean as a whip. I hope whoever gets it that they enjoy as much as I have. So, Yeah, you know, to a lot of people, uh, they come to your auction that day and they see the line of equipment, they see your place well maintained, they see the kind of care you had, and to them it's just another auction. Um, but, you know, it's always amazing to me when I do a retirement sale. Um, it's a chapter in your life, Dave, that you're continuing to retire and, and move on to the next chapter, but it's also an emotional chapter because, mm -hmm. um, you know, you don't uh, have a farm sale every day. You do it once in your life, right? right. And, uh, yeah, it's always just kind of um, an emotional day, I feel, for families. And the nice part is you get to do it together. Sometimes we're doing estates where they don't get to do it together. That's right. And uh, hopefully you guys get many good years of retirement, too. Um, let's take a walk in the shed here, Dave and Cheryl, and um, let's just look here. Uh, Dave, you got a Case IH Tiger Mate uh, 200 uh, field cultivator here. It's got rolling baskets on the back. Um, do you know how many feet this one is, Dave, right off the top of your head? This 32 feet. Uh, it's got the rolling basket. Uh, it's got 90-inch sweeps on. As you can see, I, I painted them. He uh, paints I, his sweeps, guys, so they don't rust when it sets around. So, so just take a look at that. That'll tell you about his caretaking here, guys. And it's always inside, probably 11 months out of the year, it's always inside. Wow, beautiful, so, beautiful, so. beautiful, beautiful piece of equipment. 
And behind you here, Dave, look at your disc. What yep, a beautiful yep. disc. It's a Case IH. Case um, IH 340. It's uh, 28 feet long. 28 foot. Feet wide, and it's got a three bar harrow in the back. Thing. Same thing, always sits inside. You know what I always think about, Dave, when I see equipment that's as sharp as your equipment and your tractors and stuff? I always like to ask people, do you actually use this stuff? Or, um, but, <laughs> yeah, I but, do use it. <laughs> yeah. I wash it every spring. Oh, it's beautiful stuff. Very so. nice stuff. And over here, uh, Dave, you got your planter. It's a white 8200. Uh, what can you tell us about your corn planter here that you always store inside? Uh, the, it's an 8200. It's flex, 12 roll. Uh, insecticide boxes, I do use them. I plant uh, corn on corn every year, so I do use, use the insecticide boxes. Uh, it's a clean planter. Uh, look, yeah. at the, look at the bars on the, on the uh, units there. The paint doesn't wore off anything, Dave. Um, so, you, you, have you done a lot of updates or anything to this planter nope, as far as just, anything just that it's needed? Just repair parts. And, okay. Uh, as you can see, everything's well kept up here. And you got the monitor and everything for it the way it yep, looks? Yep, monitor. There's three sets of plates for it. Okay. Uh, yeah. And, and always stored inside, too, always I assume, Always stored Dave? inside. Yes. Yeah. It's always stored inside. Um, I got to show you, uh, Blake, over here on Dave's wall as we go to this other tractor to take a look here. I just want to tell you something, folks. On the wall here, he's got a whiteboard, and uh, he puts all of his uh, needed maintenance items and stuff on here, and he has a note that in the wintertime, he puts cardboard on the floors of the tractors so you don't get snow and ice and uh, stuff like that in there, and it cleans out so nice in the spring. And uh, just to kind of give you a little flavor of the care that Dave does. But uh, Dave, standing behind us here is your uh, 160 uh, tractor. And uh, what can you tell us about this one, Dave and Cheryl? This is my first tractor I ever bought brand new. It was 2012. Uh, Bought the loader with it. It's got a Miller loader. I have a nine-foot bucket, an eight-foot bucket with it, and I got a uh, round bill attachment with it. But I brought it brand new, and it's right around 1,700 hours. 1,700 hours. Wow. And one owner. One owner. Wow. It's my first tractor. Beautiful. I ever bought brand new. So not, not, I don't even see any scratches on it, Dave. Well, um, one little one on the fender, Dave. That's yeah, about it. Yeah, a little bit on the fender. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, what a nice tractor. So, Cheryl, did you drive these tractors and stuff, too, or did you just ride along in the buddy seat? <laughs> I got to drive them once in a while, but I only do it, you know, spring and summer sometimes, so I don't feel comfortable doing it. Yeah, no, that's okay. That's okay. you got to bring them the good meals, right? <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah, um, folks, you can't see in the video here on all the cabs and stuff, but nice interiors, very, very clean stuff. And uh, on this sale, folks, we're going to have a lot of other stuff too. Uh, we'll show you the combine here in a minute and uh, stuff, but we're also going to have some livestock stuff, Dave-fed cattle, and uh, we're going to have some uh, nice, nice wagons. Dave, tell them about your wagons just a little bit. Uh, they're 650 bushel Demco wagons. They were bought in 2018. That's a year... Demco came out with their brand new ones. Yep. Uh, they got roll tarps on. They got clearance lights along all the way around the sides. It's got lights in the back. So when you go down in the dark, it's just like a truck. They can see you coming. And, and, they're, the, and they're super sharp too, Dave. Yeah, we they're seen sharp. Them earlier when we were here looking at everything and taking all the pictures for the website. Um, they're super sharp. And he didn't want to take them out today with the mist and the rain we got going on. But uh, folks, just uh, beautiful stuff. Um, let's take a look at your combine outside, Dave and uh, Cheryl. Let's step out here and take a look at that. You got a 2166 Case IH, right, Dave? Did you buy this uh, new or second owner or yeah, used? It's, or? it's a second owner machine. Uh, I bought it five years ago, 2019, and uh, yeah, it's got a low high hours on, for, uh, I think it was about 4,600 engine hours and 3,200 separator hours. I had it when I bought the machine in 2019, town and country, went through the whole thing, fixed everything up where they had to. It's on the inspection sheets, which are on your website. Yep. Uh, all I used it for was corn every year, 250 bushels, 250 acres of corn. That's all I did for the last five years. Wow. 
Wow. And always inside, too, I'm assuming, always right, inside. Dave? Always inside. Yeah. So. And, and I'm assuming, Dave and Cheryl, that every fall or um, when you're done using it, you clean them all up all the time and yep. um, and then put them away for the winter. Um, and like I said, folks, on this sale, he's going to have some tools and he's going to have some uh, small miscellaneous items and some livestock equipment. Tell them, Dave, uh, they're... Uh, about some of the other items that you got going on too, Dave, that you're going to have. I have a, uh, uh, I got a spreader, a three beater spreader. It's a hydro push. It's uh, I can't I can't right now think of what the name of the it is, but that's just like brand new. I uh, it don't have no web in it. It just hydraulic pushes it to the back and them are nice spreaders actually oh, it's re it really spreads nice we've sold them on auctions before and people like them you don't have to deal with the web and all that kind of stuff That's all the right. time um and uh you know folks i just want to stress to you um when you look at their equipment and you look at kind of care they've had um i know for those of you looking at it on the internet you can't always see everything but i'll tell you what folks you can buy with confidence um and and dave and cheryl you'll represent things honestly and um you know maintenance records i'm assuming that you have if they want stuff other than what we have on our website right we can you know at least give them the information where you've had it work done and stuff like that too and uh, we'll have like i said he's got the heads for the combine um, we got several attachments for the tractor loader um, that we'll sell afterwards and uh, he's got a nice list of equipment you can go to zomercompany.com and check that out and uh, also on the online bidding it'll be a live auction uh, with online bidding that day which will be nice and um, you know dave like i said is selling the acreage him and cheryl are to a young neighbor fella um, so um, if you needed to buy something from a distance and we needed to put it in the shed for a week or two dave to help them out that time of the year uh, for transportation we could sure do that too yep. but it'll be a fun field day and it'll be a, a big day for dave and cheryl you like i said you only retire one time in your lifetime but um an old man once told me dave we all want to get old but to be old <laughs> is something too so yeah. yes but uh, we sure appreciate the opportunity to work for you guys um we've uh, helped them with the sale of their property here and uh now we get the honor and the privilege to represent them at their retirement auction and we just got to hope for nice weather on November 16, right? That's right. right. Yes, <laughs> yes. But uh, they got a special family, and uh, they're good people in the community, and uh, we sure appreciate you guys, uh, you know, watching the video here. But uh, we hope more than that you enjoy us uh, coming back on sale day to enjoy the day with the family and, um, you know, and spend the day, whether it's either live online or live on site. But, Dave, is there anything else you and Cheryl would like to add about your equipment or a comment to any if, of the potential buyers? If anybody, buyers, that want to give me a call, my phone number is 712-470-0709. I'll answer any questions what you guys have, and I'll be truthful about it. So, so Dave, uh, tell me this. Uh, you farmed 46 years, so you farmed in the 80s also. <laughs> Th that was challenging times, wasn't it? That was very challenging, 18 to 19% interest. So, yeah. yeah, it was challenge. You know, and you look at the crop yields in our area this year, and you look at all the blessings we received of wonderful crops. And, uh, you know, Dave, I always think when we do a retirement auction like this and you're working for people like yourselves, you're kind of a true American farm story, um, raising your family on the farm, kids growing up on the farm, and, and uh, harvesting your crop with you and helping you and side by side as husband and wife to do this pretty neat stuff so um, again uh, join us november 16 10 30 a.m and uh, it'll be a live auction with online bidding available and uh, check it out at zomercompany.com so thanks dave and cheryl thank you very much